On occasion, the things we ask from God turn out to have consequences which you don't expect. Well, if you're joining us in reading through this 90-day reading plan, today's reading is Isaiah 37, verses 36 through 38, 22, and I encourage you to read that passage. Possibly you face some kind of debilitating illness or have been greeted by a diagnosis of your possible death. This news is always devastating. And sometimes you react by instinct rather than focusing on what God may be doing in your life. This is what certainly happened with Hezekiah. But we tend to believe that because of our walk with Christ, we sometimes are protected from harm or pain. We're certainly told that by many of the health and welfare preachers who are popular today. But our general walk with Christ really has nothing to do with whether we're healthy or not. God certainly controls that, but he does not allow us illness because we are bad. It does happen sometimes. And he doesn't promise us a long life just because we're good. Hezekiah sought after God. He probably was one of the top three or four kings of Judah who were righteous or good kings. But that didn't stop him from seeking to extend his life. And God granted his request, but... During that time, Manasseh was born, and he turned out to be one of the most unrighteous kings that Judah ever produced. God gave Hezekiah what he wanted, but the result had unintended consequences. I just read about the fires around Athens, Greece. At this point, there are about 70 people who have died because of the fire, and some families actually huddled together in a last-ditch effort to protect themselves, and yet they died. Others escaped to the sea and had to be rescued in the water after hours uh, to wait for the the fire pass them by. Now, why did God allow some to die and others to live? Well, we can't answer that question. We can understand that it was God's will in any event. Now, you should pray whether you're healthy or ill, whether you're suffering financial setbacks or increased wealth. Maybe you have some stress at home or work. And certainly you can pray for God to relieve those pressures. But you should never pray for your benefit. You should always pray for God to use your situation for his benefit and his glory.